Hello and welcome to Aratu's Lord of the Dead. And Hello and welcome to Aratu's Lord of the Dead. And as a nice bonus already for logging in, they're giving me new skins, which is very nice. I'll look over them. I mean, you don't normally care about skins, but if they're giving them to you for free, why not? That's something this game's been pretty good about, is they give you free skins for logging in during occasional times, winter events. I, I suppose this is the summer skin event? We'll go with that. Anyway. So this is my first attempt, full first real attempt at doing a full playthrough since it came since it got out of early release. Yeah, here's a game I kind of tootled around with, but we're gonna start a new one. I've beaten it at Good Always Wins when it was an early release, but that only takes you to the third boss, so I'm not gonna necessarily count it as a complete win. So we'll start at Good Wins, Good Always Wins, which is short of the hardest difficulty, but this is kind of like something you do when you want to just get scaling difficulty. It seems like. Yeah, so we'll go with Good Always Wins to start. And if you've never seen or heard of this game, uh, um, it's kind of unlikely if you're looking at this, but it's a strategy-based game, very much in the spirit of Darkest Dungeon, except the reverse, except you're the bad guy trying to bust out of the dungeon. A uh, lot less story if that's your thing, but this is a very good strategy game, and most important for those of us with children, me, it has a pause button. So that makes it very useful for being able to play and pick it up whenever you want and not have to remember what happened in the story. Really, this is all about strategy, and most of the story-esque is just kind of in the flavor of the game. So, let's get started. First things first, make your troops. Always a ghoul. Ghouls are great. You will bring me their heads, their hearts, and everything else. That's a little loud on my end. There we go, we fixed that. Okay, so I generally like to start with a physical team and a stress team. Physical team generally consists of Ghoul, the Bride. Currently, I like to do Headhunter. I might change that for my physical team eventually, but he does real good damage and he can sustain if he gets a Vampire Fang. It's almost questionable whether or not you keep him if he doesn't, just because without sustain, he the team I run with the physical has no healers, so... I'm not sure how well that'll work in later game, but later game he possesses the ability to just straight up one-shot things, so. Uh, ghoul, Headhunter, Bride, and... I'm having problems remembering what my other one was. Alright, Dompier. This is another questionable one, just because I kind of feel the Dompier has some issues and doesn't, like, just go balls to the walls damage like the others do, but she has some utility. Now that you are on my team, I expect less brooding and more killing. Well, alright. So, Skeleton will eventually be a sacrifice to make things later. So, the combo for my stress team generally deals with this combo here. So, we'll have the combo of the Lost Knight, the Lost Soul and the Dark Knight. Lost Knight, Dark Soul. Hmm. Let's see, do, 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 do. who are my other people in this team? Right, Shade. And the Banshee, where'd she go? Good, good. So this is my stress team, and now we have some fillers for things that get shuffled in occasionally. Bone Golem's a great stand-in because he's good for front line. He's the, actually the best tank. The problem is he just doesn't do any damage, which is why I don't have him dedicated to a team no matter what. But I might if I really can't get the use out of the headhunter I want, because between the Ghoul and the Bride, you really have all the damage you need here. Let's see. Who else? You always need a mummy, especially for the third boss. They but anywhere where it's good for getting rid of debuffs. Of my tomb to the world. And that's all I can make starting off. Uh, for talents, start off here just because you want the will becomes just because you want to have souls because you want to build up as you want to build up as much as fast as possible when the game's the easiest and you can accumulate resources and use the least amount. So generally, I'll go for these first and eventually go for this because especially in my physical team, which is my carry team with Bride and a few other crit-based things, do extra crit damage. Guaranteeing one's a big deal. No artifacts to start at this difficulty, and you can't build anything because it's require. You only start with twenty souls, and everything requires twenty-five. So then we just dive in at this point. 
The kingdom has ne had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle, great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest, along with ancient artifacts from a long-forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and the humans and that the humans could provide. I always found that sentence odd. With dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, pretty good hint of what the what the world above this is like. There's no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Rogue were used to keep them docile. They dug ever deeper year after year, unaware of the moral danger that awaited them down below. So, pretty good idea. You've, I'm sure you've heard that story before. Anyway, off we go. First fight's always easy. Beat them up. Beat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Alrighty. That ignores, I don't have it. I don't have it to where it eat blocks yet. So... Start with the vulnerable one who can stun out first. Ow. Help get rid of some block early on. Again, she's gonna be main big damage dealer, especially if you buff up her, uh, her, her chest piercer to do crit damage. And I kind of buff him to be a tank. Just give him all the armor you can right away. Trap's real handy for getting rid of armor as well as guaranteeing damage. You gonna hit him? Of course, you hit the only thing you can't kill. And you miss them both. Unfortunately, the headhunter's drawback is he has very low accuracy to start. Hence why I kind of build him as tanky first. Okay, stress attack. These interrupt stances, and this will prevent him from doing his big attack. So he loses that stance. Essentially, I'm sacrificing my turn for his. So later on, you want th you want things that more interrupt stances just by no knocking them back. Or do damage. But it's just nice to avoid damage early on. Oh, come on. One health short. Ah. He should take dam- no, he doesn't take damage from the trap. Well, he's messing us up. He's gotten two crits already. Not fair. Oh, and just like Darkest Dungeon, in case you haven't caught up, this game is, well, generally speaking, it's extremely unfair to you. You have to find strategy that help you get past the fact that the enemy just tends to be much more buff and nasty than you are. Um, eat him. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Alright, got that. Let's see, I really do miss the fact that they screwed up his positioning so much. It's very rough for him, and that's what kind of makes him a little bit weaker. But, throw the cleaver. Another stance, and I just don't feel like taking that extra damage. Insanity's not a thing this group worries about. Yes, hit her. She can go back to full health. Let's see. He, does he have armor? He doesn't have any armor. So, let's see if you can get a crit to get some health back. Nah, of course not. Uh... Yes, please. Do that. Boom. Alright. Not worth doing. Maybe you can just kill him. Them in with the rest. Yes, Chief, we will. Um, no, it's not worth it. Yeah, it is. Shoot him. That becomes a lot more useful when it ba when there's armor that needs to be baseline stripped, but nothing early game has any armor. I did not expect that. Now I'm not going to be able to use her full heal. Unless I can... Oh... Okay, there's a way we can set this up. Uh, yes. Do stress damage, that's fine. Um, yes. I know it's a little cheesy, but unlike Darkest Dungeon, you can actually delay for time to heal stuff without any actual consequences, other than maybe getting smacked around a little But That's why you do it when you can control. Whereas in Darkest Dungeon, if you delayed stuff, you had stress fights and then reinforcement shows up. Does not happen in this game. At least not to anything I've seen. I've delayed some things for five or six turns. You missed. Please don't. Well, I deserved that, I guess. Mop up the gore. 
I'd hate to see what plants is? using it as fertilizer. Okay, so wow. You usually don't get an artifact that early. And that looks like something you equip on a unit, I think. Easy way to find out. Yeah. Okay. So, before we forget, equip this. It's honestly not that great, but it'll do for now when I don't have another slot open. Even more than previous. Gotcha, Chief. Alright. So, parts. The formula reveal their secrets. Most of these guys aren't worth buffing up early on, except him, because we want armor. One of the best things they did to this game was give you the ability to customize your guys like this, because it made just a lot more strategy involved and allows you to essentially specialize and focus power, which you kind of need. Generalists aren't as much of a thing when you get to min-maxing. Let's see. I'll save the rest. So... Let's see. But I did get the souls I need. How did these bodies wind up there, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Was there an effort to set me free sometime in the past? Okay. These remains will be used as fuel for my growing army. <sighs> no, I'm not a chess master. I don't think 20 steps ahead. I generally think maybe three to four. And I think if you can't make that decision quickly, it speaks more poorly on you. Well, that's just me, or that's just how my brain works. So I'm pretty much not going to look too far ahead other than maybe the next two or three whenever I do this. So don't yell at me. Or do. Up to you. So let's see. I'm not a fan of this because it's kind of a crapshoot. That's actually kind of good at this early in the game. This could give me a level, but levels aren't hard to get right now. And this gives you some of the best items for units in the game. So... Going this way gets artifact, art gets unit, artifact, and then two rounds of souls. Dang. Much as I hate to pass that up, um, that's probably the best deal I'm gonna get. Yeah, I think so. So let's go this way. I usually don't skip these because they can give really good items, especially for like ghoul early on, but oh, those souls are a big deal, especially early on. And I could get a minion. See what minion I get. Oh, that's nice. Now, out of all these minions, the wraith is the least one I'd be likely to use. The thing is, though, a wraith I think is, if I remember correctly, the na the wraith is required to make the pillar. Yep, the obelisk, because you'll want more souls. So when I can actually make another obelisk thing, I will have the wraith to sacrifice. So that's actually very good. A little bit of RNG in all this, so. Um, I really hate, oh, you know what? Since she's the only one that's hurt, I'll just throw her in the mortuary. And send forth you. And just have him tank it out. Hmm. Anyway, next up, next up. Go there. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for that, again, it's going to be a case of me not wanting to deal with that. So that'll move him back. Huh. Sure. This used to be one of his better attacks because it guarantees him a hit on that and it does a lot of damage. And him missing is a big deal. But So you set up a position, you trap it. Uh, the weaknesses of it are now it moves him two back, so it's very hard for him to move forward as only his ultimate moves him forward now. And the other issue is it doesn't go through block. So if anything with block happens to move up there, he's essentially wasted a hit for only getting rid of one block. So I don't feel like dealing with that. And that moves him up a bit. Actually, the thing that moves him up is uh, just bouncing people back and forth. So do that. Huh? Yeah? Okay. So let's see. Self-destruct! Don't ever accidentally do this, please. So... I want to move you forward. No, I don't really care at this point in the game. He has something that interrupts stances. Yeah, but you have to be completely forward to do it. It's not like I'm using mana right now. 
Well, you could miss. That works too. Ow. Oh, this is already going poorly on that um, note. Yeah, this is when the RNG can turn against you. Ow. This is hurting more than it should. There you go. I don't know if I want to have you move up now just because of all the damage you took. Uh, if you get lucky... Nope. That's not lucky. Don't want to take another big hit. I swear she's more useful than this. It's just these guys keep popping stances. So let's see. Block at the cost of health, but he regens health so easy, it's not a thing. Hmm. Which health you got left? I don't want to actually kill you. I'm going to tell you to wait. They have a target. Can't say I'm a fan. Start knocking off his armor. That's not a big deal, because we're about to eat you. There we go. Ashes to ashes. Free kill dust and the lunch break dust. buff. It's fine if you hit him. That's what he's made for. Sustain. Do love sustain. Now we'll throw the axe. Stop targeting him, please. Again. You need to hit the guy who I actually need you to eat block from. That's good. That's what you need your ride to do. Hmm. I mean, it ignores block, but I still need to get rid of that block. Still. There we go. Uh, the headhunter's not having a good day. All right. Well, just can you? No, I wanna wanna make sure she can actually go up to full. There we go. Yeah. I'll use it often, but I don't want to deal with the block. Uh, I swore if he got crits, that would have just left me very rough. Block is gone. Revenge! The crit adds oh, punctuation. You know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. Yeah, alrighty. So, so hit the X button. There we go. Now, before I forget, I will switch out these two because he needs to heal. And I will cut this episode off here. Episode, right. I will cut this off here. So I will see you next one. Goodbye.